Some have actually said this game, this variant, is more rare than Pokemon Box. Ruby and Sapphire, which, as we know, is the most expensive game. In a world full of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, grading, selling, buying, one card game remains supreme. One man has the insights you need to know. Watch and subscribe now. Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube. What's up, YouTube? Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube, and did you know that these two games are not actually the same? Did you know that one of them, some actually consider the rarest box variant in GameCube timeline history? We're gonna get into that and more in this video. Um, but before you go ahead and keep on watching, uh, my, my Instagram is down below, my eBay down below, and go check me out. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button if you enjoy what you're seeing here. Uh, we do Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and video games, sometimes even sports stuff as well. But here we go, we're looking at two different Pokemon Coliseum games, okay? One, two. One of these Pokemon Coliseum games is different than the other. And you may be saying, which one? Well, if we look at these games, right? Here's a regular Pokemon Coliseum, and here's a Coliseum that says, excuse me for the destroyed uh, box cover, but it has a bonus disc Jirachi inside, okay? This is exponentially rarer than this, okay? Um, the games that had this variant on the box, rumored right now to be pre-ordered from Kmart and Target, this is just the standard version of the game. Um, but basically, let's let's go back to the history of this. When you pre-ordered a Pokemon Coliseum game, okay, way back, and you pre-ordered this game, you were set to receive a bonus disc that included Jirachi that you could put onto your Game Boy Advance, Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Okay, most of them came in separate discs with separate box arts. That right? That's right. There was a separate game, right? Like a separate box art that had a Pokemon Coliseum bonus disc, and it had the Jirachi and whatnot on it. Um, but for whatever reason, there was another version of this that was a Coliseum that included Jirachi's bonus disc also in this case. Okay, and this is exponentially rarer than the two separate cases and two separate <laughs> discs, which is crazy to say, right? Usually you're like, okay, it's a separate game disc, it's a separate game art, um, that's got to be rare. But no, in this case of Pokemon Coliseum bonus disc, in this case, this version, okay, that includes both the discs, is rarer than the two separate discs and the two separate boxes that you got, which is absolutely astounding. And again, rumors are this version came in Target and Kmart, this version came with all other retailers. I could tell you for one um, that I pre-ordered mine at GameStop way, way back because GameStop was a huge deal. Uh, back then, that was the place to be. Um, so I went to GameStop and mine included a bonus disc separately. So it included this disc and this art, right? Plus another separate bonus disc and case, okay? But this has both. Let's look inside. So here is your standard Pokemon Coliseum, of course, you're gonna have a Coliseum disc here. Standard game, can't tell any difference, right? Over here is the rare one. Pokemon Coliseum with the bonus disc Jirachi included. And as you can see, there are two separate slots, okay? One for Coliseum and one for the Coliseum bonus disc. Okay, these two separate slots are extremely hard to come by. You would also have your standard Wishmaker Jirachi movie coming out pamphlet in here if we had this completed box. Um, but also, one last thing to note about this is the not for resale is on the two disc version. Okay, when you pre ordered and got two separate, you got this and you got the separate box art, the not for resale would be on the back of the, of the bonus disc one. But the not for resale is actually on the back of the double disc version. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So really the only difference when it comes to this is if you pre-ordered supposedly from a bunch of different retailers, you would get the game just as is, the normal game, and then you would get the bonus disc separately, okay, in a separate case, okay, and separate artwork. But these are extremely rare to come by where it has this little label. And it's not like a label. It's actually engraved onto the box art. Uh, that includes Jirachi. It includes the two discs. 
and all of the bonus disc material and um, instruction manual and all that are also supposed to be included in here. The not for resale is also on the back of this version, whereas the not for resale is also on the back of the separate bonus disc, which is the more common version as well. So if you have not seen this before, um, it's a very minor difference, but it's still extremely important to note. Um, some have actually said this game, this variant, is more rare than Pokemon Box, Ruby and Sapphire, which, as we know, is the most expensive game. If you haven't checked my video, go check that out right now. Pokemon Box is the most expensive game in GameCube history, aside from some weird other stuff, like Double Disc stuff, but overall, it's really, I would say, the most expensive mass-produced game. This is another variant of Pokemon Coliseum that is rarely seen, so, um... That's basically it. it, includes both of the discs inside, and whereas the mass majority of them included two separate discs, one standard version, and then the bonus disc, this has both in one. And I would say is a much, much harder to come by version. From what I understand, this complete in box was like, whew, a thousand plus dollars. Um, it's crazy, crazy stuff, but uh, if you do have it, go let me know. Um, comment below. Think, um, think if you if you ever had these discs when you pre-ordered these games way back. If you didn't, um, it's a pretty cool piece of history. Pokemon stuff is always fascinating to me as well. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube. Signing out.